um, two issues I want to cover in this video. Um, and they're related to things I've mentioned before. Uh, I've just been looking at an editorial in the independent newspaper about the mouthy bitch known as Katie Hopkins. Um, yeah. Basically, the editorial is saying that she came out with uh, a column in yesterday's Sun uh, that's so despicable it would even, uh, you know, it would even make um, Hitler squirm or, well, actually, the exact term they used was, this is from Simon Osborne of The Independent. Katie Hopkins has just written a piece so hateful that it might give Hitler pause. Why was it published? So basically, this is a rant that she's come out with about the tragic situation in the Mediterranean. If you've been following the news recently, you'll know that there's been several high profile, well, probably not as high profile as they should be, actually, um, boating tragedies there. Um, these involve desperate, desperate people who are fleeing war zones um, like Yemen and Libya and who basically want a better life. And gang masters are extorting money from them. We're talking about families here. We're, this includes children. Um, and there's been several high profile disasters uh, because these boats are overcrowded. They're very shoddy. Um, just over a week ago, about 400 people died. 400 people. Um, so this is a humanitarian crisis. Now, whatever your views are on what is the best way to deal with this, um, whether it be punishing the gang masters, whether it be putting more pressure on the governments you're coming from, whatever, um, what she has come out with is beyond despicable. Basically, what she has said is that the best way to deal with this is to turn gunboats on them. And uh, she says that, uh, that she... Um, yeah, she calls them a plague of the feral humans. Uh, she refers to them as cockroaches. She um, uh, she adds to this, uh, some of our towns are festering sores plagued by swarms of migrants and asylum seekers shelling out benefits like monopoly money. Um, make no mistake these migrants are like cockroaches they might look a bit like bob geldos if he will be a circa 1984 but they are built to survive a nuclear bomb they are survivors um you know there is a historical precedent to this sort of language um and it's it's troubling if you look at for example the rwanda genocide in 1994 the hutu extremists use the language of cockroaches to demonize their, their Tutsi rivals. And the Third Reich um, referred to Slavic people in those sort of dehumanizing terms. Um, I think people can have strong views and there, there's a place for insults, but I agree 100% with Simon Osborne. What she is doing is not about challenging political correctness. What she is doing is dehumanizing people in a desperate situation. Um, and to me, that's just sickening. I, I think this woman is is disgusting excuse for a human being. I really do. And what I want to talk about here is the free speech issue in relation to this. Now, I have said on record that I believe free speech is for everyone. So short of making a threat against someone, a specific violent threat, I believe people should be allowed to say what they want um, but I don't believe that that means giving someone like her a platform now the son is a despicable little rag anyway so I'm not surprised that you know she is getting a platform in the sun uh, uh, there is a lot of hypocrisy about this because you know a few years ago when Nick Griffin the leader of the far right British National Party appeared on question time the sun had a big headline I remember it um, Anti versus the Nazi. Anti is a name in Britain for the BBC versus the Nazi. It's a bit rich of Lem to talk in those sort of terms about Nick Griffin. But by the way, I've got no time for it. But, you know, to call out far right parties when the, the language of tabloids really is no different. It's not. There's no difference in the rhetoric of powerful tabloid newspapers and populist 
um, reactionary parties. But they pretend there is, and they, they like to have this sort of moral outrage, like they're actually any different, but they're not. They're really not. Um, and I, I think that people in Britain need to wake up and realise what these gutter rags are doing. This is not about silence of debate on the issue of immigration. I believe there is a place for debate, and I believe there are legitimate concerns in society. But the discourse on this needs to be in a humane term, in, in a humane way. The UKIP has been relatively responsible in some of its language, some other aspects not so much. But I honestly believe Katie Hopkins is a much bigger threat than Nigel Farage. Um, some people might say this is harmless, so if you don't like it, just ignore her, don't buy the paper, etc. That's a problematic argument because it underestimates the influence that the Sun has. And even if not every Sun reader would absolutely agree with her, there is a very large number that will be influenced by that. And you cannot underestimate the influence of the tabloid press. If you don't believe me, consider this. There hasn't been a single Prime Minister in the last 30 years who has been elected, and not including those who have sort of um, uh, succeeded without an election, but who has been elected without the support of the Sun. Now that indicates this is still a very strong influence even post Levison, it's still very powerful. And when the country's top selling newspaper, which has a readership of up to seven million people, gives someone like her a platform, that is troubling. We can still have free speech. She can have her free speech. She just doesn't deserve the platform. And that is the issue. In other words, don't give her the platform. Let her have her views, let her mouth off online, whatever. But what I resent is the fact she's being built up to be credible. Um, she's not. She's not a credible person. She's paid to basically be as controversial as possible. Um, what is worrying about it is I think she believes a lot of the crap that she spouts out. I think she's a fanatical extremist. And um, I just think she's a disgusting human being. Someone that is so um, reliant on attacking people who can't defend themselves, and especially people in the most dire of situations. You know, she if she has strong views on this, she can put it another way. She can say, uh, we need to be tougher on immigration, or, uh, you know, we need to look at the sources of this to stop these people coming here, if that's her position. But to say we need to turn guns on them, another thing she came out with was, we should do it Australia style, and throw Castleman beer as their equivalent of Sharia law. Now, to try and tie in this humanitarian crisis with Sharia law is a perverse distortion. Sharia law is barbaric, I get that. But her language about these migrants is, has got nothing to do with Sharia law. It's got everything to do with her being a callous, cold-blooded bitch. And the thing is, she really doesn't care the fact that so many enlightened, intelligent and decent human beings can't stand her. She doesn't care about that. So... You know, this message is not for her. I'm primarily condemning those who give her a platform, notably the Sun. But there are also more responsible media outlets who should really know better. Uh, this morning, for example, um, I don't watch it regularly, but it, I would consider it more credible than the Sun. They give her a platform. My question is why? I've even heard reports she'll get her own TV show. Why? Why? Because she gets attention? I mean, what are we coming to in this in this society? If any loudmouthed moron who spouts off about something can be given airtime that they really, really don't deserve. Now, I passionately support freedom of expression, and I passionately support the need for different opinions. Right-wing views, left-wing views, centrist views. But I don't think we should give a platform to vile individuals like Katie Hopkins who basically have a sole agenda of trying to be as low as possible. Um, this woman is thoroughly despicable. Um, I'm not calling for her to go to jail. I'm not calling for her to be arrested. I'm not calling for her to not be allowed her opinions. What I am calling for is for people to stop giving her a platform. Now, you know, this is wishful thinking because the sun is a filthy little rag. And it shows you the journalistic standards of the sun. 
that they believe someone like Katie Hopkins, a washed up reality TV star, who basically is famous for being a nasty bitch. That is the only reason she is well known. She's not an elected official. She's done nothing important with her life. She's just... Um, and the thing is, she thrives off the notoriety. So I'm well aware that this video will make no difference to her. I'm aware of that. But it is important that people have counter views. And I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. So I'm not calling for her to be arrested. I'm not calling for her to not be allowed her views, despicable as they are. What I am saying is that she doesn't deserve the attention she gets. Now, it's all very well saying, don't buy the sun. I don't buy it, actually. But the problem is, many people do. It's their right. But I argue that the editor of the sun has responsibility. Um, I mean, tabloid newspapers, really, when they're called the gutter press, you can see the reason why, when they give people like this credibility. And then, you know, they will condemn the far right. It's just utter hypocrisy. I mean, her views are far more extreme than anything Nigel Farage has said. And yet he's vilified and she's treated as credible. Why is that? And that's not to say that I support Nigel Farage. I certainly don't. But um, so, yeah, basically, I agree with this editorial. You know, this is not about freedom of speech. It's really not. And in this country, we must always protect freedom of speech for everyone, even scumbags like her. I support her right to have an opinion. What I don't support is her right to have this platform where she is basically inciting hatred. That's, that's an abuse of free expression, inciting hatred against a vulnerable group. Um, and if migrants from that part of the world come to Britain and they suffer racial attacks, people like her do bear part of the responsibility. So I really, really wish that media outlets would get some responsibility and not give her a platform. I don't expect it from the sun because the sun is as low as she is. Um, the sun, I don't believe the sun is a credible news source. I believe it is a vicious, nasty, populist rag. Um, I support different opinions. I mean, the Daily Telegraph is a right-wing newspaper and many of its positions I would strongly disagree with, but I recognize it as a credible newspaper. I recognize The Independent, The Guardian, The Times as credible newspapers. Um, I, don't, I have very strong views on tabloid journalism. I think it is one of the biggest threats, actually, that we face as a country in terms of democracy. Um, people might think that's an extreme statement, but uh, I'll make another video about that. But anyway, rant over. Um, one day this woman is going to really, someone is not going to see her as funny. And there's going to be some vigilante that will come out and get her. And I'm not advocating that for a second. But when you deliberately try to be as despicable as she is being, to be as hurtful as she is being, to be as callous as she is being, then there will be consequences. And um, I really just wish that some of these media outlets would get some responsibility.